So <laughs> these are the main important ACL questions. Okay, then notifications. Okay, notifications. Uh, what is your confusion is, sir? Notif every time we see a video in the notification, okay, we get some kind of event, event, event. Why that event came into picture, sir? Without event, can't we do a notification? First thing is that one. Okay. So first I will do, I will one, I will do one small thing. Okay. What I will do is, where is this table? Any table you take it. Okay. Hybrid table or where is the table that we created just now? Sunday table. Okay. I'll go to notification. I'm not touching events. First to understand only notification. Okay. This is where people will confuse actually and uh, when we are preparing it now this is where the main confusion is so i will try to avoid the i will try to remove the condition okay then you will you will tell you will tell. so i'll go here okay consider like in the table which we created uh, what is the table ma uh, okay i'll take it okay. fun, right So in the Sunday fun, I have one more field called. Very good. Is that fine? ACL, did I cover what you are what you are looking to what in what you are looking for? At least. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. That video is good, ma. You can just watch the video once. Okay, it covered all of them. Maybe that is one. Sir, you what, ma? That is uh, channel video. Ah, our channel video. I given the link now. Yes, sir. It's playlist of three videos. Yeah. Okay. So, customer. Right. Add. Save. Come fast. Okay. So now my requirement is if whenever in this particular table level whenever the description is changing okay let's say i written hello okay and like i said customer okay equal to someone i don't have that okay good so i will take one customer okay who have a email address, something like this okay no i will take okay now we have a record created when the record is created, you want to trigger a notification to the customer. Or, okay, let, that is a common scenario. Whenever the description changes, hello world, then this user should get an email saying the description is changed to this one. That's it. That is a simple email, okay? From service now, we should get it. Clear? This, this uh, scenario is clear? Yes, sir. So what I do, yes. what I do is I'll go and then say, okay, Sunday description changed. Okay, is that changed? Sunday description changed, no? I never ever had a call, but first time I had it, so Sunday description changed. So here, see here, I'm saying only simple play notification, nothing different. Okay, so you underscore Sunday. This is the basic thing. Okay, so on this table. When the condition meets, when when you need to send an email, when a record is inserted or updated. Here it is updated. So updated, updated. same business tool like that. And then description changes. Changes. Okay. So in the notification, we have three important things. When to send, whom to send, what to send. When to send is condition. Okay. Whom to send? Who will the who is the receiver? Now, how can I get the customer here? Dot work. Dot work. So let's see if we have dot work here. The users. Uh, where is the hierarchy? No, this is direct selection. Okay. I think um, user field. This customer. Get it. Correct, ma? Did you see it? Right. This is from table. 
whatever the yes, whatever the fields that we yes. have it in table i took it now customer is the reference field so i took the reference field what it should contain okay so description changed right subject in the subject uh, if we have number i want to print the number okay give me one more second so many changes auto numbering okay sun fine i don't think so this have a number okay so let's say s u n 001000 okay 01 something like this okay we can give it first time next time onwards it will come automatically okay now i want to print this number in the this one okay so here you have fields no fields number okay so when i say number it comes with this particular one no so copy it it is taking dynamically has changed okay no description per number has changed correct you understood ma yes sir okay. yes sir so uh, dear customer so how to print the customer name can we print the customer name here yes sir why why no yes. we have this one na no? so customer yes, dot name where is the name here ma name 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 go down sir this one customer name yeah i think this one okay so you underscore customer dot name dear customer okay and remove all these things it will come by default so you remove it whatever you want to print it you just keep it okay uh the subjected okay record description changed to okay what is the new description print the description also so flower you description uh, description field you print it here sir can you get the old value also sir old from value, you need to write some script ma glide record previous value and all you need to get ma good question okay, okay. so email script so you need to write in this la in this page in what ma uh, for uh, ccing some other uh, user ha ah, i am coming so for I that coming to that point ccing means okay you, you, if it is static value who who will receive you can keep it here only users okay other people other people on that okay mm. but if you don't have static like this users or if you don't have them in the form then we we have another option that i will come in the second part of it okay okay now everyone understood what i did here right what are mark get mark push and uh, that and all okay but what i did here is clear okay so yes, now sir. go here okay the system to send the emails or receiving the emails the system should enable with okay one property maybe in our in production it will be always enabled but in dev in, in our pdas okay you should always enable this one either yes either this yes this yes then only this instance will get or send the emails remember it okay good now i created one email i created a notification now if i change it now it should it should work yes so change the customer okay and then change hello world okay save it so do 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 it need to send a notification yes yes sir. okay so you can't log into this particular email id and then show no so from administration side how we test it is go to email logs okay system logs emails so emails you see a mail is triggered this one will go to the end this one will go to the end user okay but there, there is an email triggered and it have a this have a subject and it sent to this person and it have a content like this did you see it ma and you can see preview email okay the preview email is like this is how the email will go to the respective person dear customer marco sandy 
the subject record description changed to hello world from service no platform support team the same email he will receive it you understood everyone confirm yes, it no please i need to rush it please. yes sir now sir yes sir uh, now sir uh, this one is very simple okay then why you why i when i see in youtube okay they are confusing me okay as someone asked can i trigger it okay now i i triggered it now can i trigger this notification from workflow i can create it okay can i trigger from a script include okay yes sir maybe no can i trigger this uh, this notification from a script include no no okay email script we can write but that is also a script no? email script is to call the script here not to trigger the notification understand my question now okay okay from even okay first thing second thing is uh there is a schedule job the job you ran it once the schedule job is done you need to send one email can an email normal email can be called from a script again no okay first thing second thing sir can we add more people here which is completely dynamic here this is completely static yes. right this is static right you are getting either a field names from the record or users from the record users from the user table but i want to know i want to send this email maybe completely dynamic maybe this person's manager and his manager and only take him if he's vip can i take like that i want to send the email okay to him and his manager's manager okay only if he's vip can i send you are understanding my requirement so take this eileen okay he don't have another manager okay so take his manager his manager okay and send him only if he is vip this is what my requirement can we do this kind of yes. validation low level very low level which needed scripting no correct when condition condition how you set the condition ma so first of all in the notification page condition is to trigger the notification not to get the recipients i want to set the recipients here i want to send okay i want to send an email to customers to managers to manager when the customers to manager manager is a vip then only send him or else send to customer only yes sir everyone understood it yes okay. so this is one first method send a simple notification send second one is event based notification so event okay notification and script ideally generally people will say business rule okay i am not creating one but i will explain what it works okay there is a video in basic or service now you just refer it okay but what he will explain is i will tell you okay sir instead of doing it what is the way to do it in the second way event based way okay first before you create a notification before creating notification go to event okay event registry what is what that no event registry is right events registry or yeah. events huh? It's events, I think so. What is it? Event. Give me a second. Hmm. Event registry, huh? correct only, no? So event registry, you create an event first. Sir, what is an event? In this case, event is a dummy record. Pure dummy. You even will understand, okay? Sir, why you created? You asked this question, sir. Why you created this one, sir? You didn't see anything here. That's what you understand, okay? 
So give event table u underscore Sunday. Okay. Event name is disk change. Disk dot change. Okay. And then save it. That's it. This is event. Okay. I said dummy. That's why. Right. Okay. Filtered by if you want to write some description and all that that is an all optional. Even if you write it, if you don't write it, nothing is there. Okay. It's fired by. What? Ma? Second filter. F I R E D. Fired by. Ah, even you write it, you don't write it. Doesn't matter. Ma, you write it like okay, fired by business rule. Okay. That's yeah, that is that is for that is, documentation. That is for your documentation. Okay. From where you fired? Okay. Because if you write it here, not okay. I will tell you. Okay. Then, second part is notification. Okay, in this notification, I will use the event. So, okay, you said the fired by. Okay, I fired, fired from notification. I will write like this. This still I will write it. Okay, notification and triggered from. Okay, that I will write it. Okay, this is for your notes only. That's a documentation. Nothing. Even if you don't write it, also don't matter. Okay. Now here, okay, you you take the event, attach the event to notification, attach the event to notification. Then only the event will have some meaning. So event is fired. Okay. Now I think I need to refresh it because I created an event. No? This also I explained in video, ma. Okay, it is there. So, uh, what is the name I given? Disk, uh, disk change, right? So, disk change. Even you keep the, keep the condition. Condition you just ignore it. I will tell you, okay. Generally, I will show something, okay. That is very important, okay. So, even you can keep condition also. Don't matter. So, event is fired. So, when you say event is fired, it will give you two options param1 param2 keep them okay if you want to keep this this one here you can keep it but if you want to remove here you can remove it okay but doesn't matter so param1 param2 you just keep it now one event is created one notification is created correct and they both are linked yes yes sir. Yes, sir. yes everyone yes, yes. Now third thing, sir, from when I need to trigger? Do I need to trigger from scripting include? Do I need to trigger from a uh, schedule job or do I need to trigger from a business tool? Generally, we write it in business tool. So, I want, when I save this record, if this is changed, previous and current, okay, then I want to change, I want to run it in a business tool, so create a business tool. So, this is third. By the way, how many people are there, ma? 24. Very good. 24. Thank you. Okay. So, Sunday table business tool. Okay. You can control many things here. Okay. Not only one, but Sunday events. Five. Okay. So, even I will show you one best example. You can read this one. I showed this page actually already. Okay. Mm, event incident events all events of incident management will be triggered from this particular business tool okay you can keep an eye on it okay so here no need to condition okay nothing you need to write here okay maybe insert update you can keep it because that is standard practice uh, this one is needed okay you can say async because emails can be triggered after some changes right so if it is related async is a good one even after also good one but async is completely good one Okay, and you can keep thousand, ten thousand, something, something. Okay, here you write everything here. Okay, if current dot description u underscore description because I am not creating business tool only for one activity. I can write hundred activities here. Okay, description changes. Okay, then fire the event. So how to fire an event? 
gs dot event view of event name what is the event name and disks disk change okay disk change so this is how we control the things okay here we have three parameters current current why current is required when you want to look for it for whom for which record you want to trigger this event current so when this current record description changes then pick the values of this one correct in the notification you said customer na which customer which record customer sunday monday that yeah current record okay. and here pass values email values okay so i will pass one value here see that quota 86 this is email value so you can pass two values here param1 param2 okay and the param1 param2 you mention here okay use the param1 param2 to send the email where is that where is the notification you check with this two this is param1 param2 so you are mentioning the email recipients here okay one okay comma second okay current dot customer okay you underscore customer dot manager okay you take this one so you pass the values here using script sir i want to check the manager okay i want to check the managers managers vip then i need to pass him if it is true then you need to glide record here where gr equal to sys user table get the manager get the manager if he is vip equal to true then if true you trigger it so you write every every in everything here okay so you see the samples here all the events of incident management like all the emails will trigger here okay there are so many events so many notifications they are checking the condition if it is not insert if the comments are changed then send this event okay if it is insert okay then send this one if it is operation is update comments are not changed then send this one so you are controlling more so many events from one script you are understanding ma yes yes sir okay. so this is how a event notification will be connected and then that event you can pass it from script so why we need to go because if you if you connect these two like this then you can call this event from anywhere any script you have best control to trigger an event or a notification correct i want to trigger the notification maybe at a specific condition i can trigger it not every condition not every recipient can be taken in a general way correct a normal notification configuration you can't get the uh, you can't get the recipients dynamically or you can't trigger it from anywhere correct yes yes, yes sir okay. now if you go to workflow the same concept is explained with a practical scenario ma in basic you can just visit please okay it's easy easy concept uh, now what is our uh, this one what is our uh, workflow we created okay uh, management i think some management no this one oh, okay yes so 8 9 8 okay so sir here we have event here you have notification same thing okay so if you want to create the notification plain notification you can create it okay so let's create a note i showed notification correct one sample i showed no okay so see here the first part of it what we covered no so send one email send email okay so to whom to send okay what to send that's it when the particular activity comes then it will send an email that's it and it takes the fields of rtm correct yes got it okay. and 
create an event based one so let's say if you take event then it asks you to trigger the event you need to select the event okay so the event is already created in the back end the event is no, the event is already attached with the notification that event you are firing here it is like yes. gs dot event queue of event name passing the parameters okay instead of passing from script where is the script okay instead of passing from script here param1 param2 you are mentioning param1 param2 in these two lines got it yes sir everyone yes yes sir okay so that's it now i think i need to close it okay so just uh, sir, just a 2 minute overview on sla sir uh huh sla overview i already there is a video mate it's a very simple video in our channel ma very simple okay it 